All right. that one boob shot, you know? What the hell was that all about? I was surprised. Serious, you're gonna go all the way across this thing. Hit this guy. She's out of stuff. I get it, I accidentally walked into it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Death himself has nothing to fear. I came in. Okay. So I went that way. That's why I came in. Okay. Here's the thing, if I take one of these doors and leave, then I'll reset all the bad guys. You see what I'm saying? So I don't want to do that. I want to get all the chests so I don't have to feel obligated to fight every guy on the planet. choice.
guess I need to be on the other side then. Fuck is that thing? Oi oi. You know what? I wanna fight it. Let's do this. Hope it doesn't kill me and cut off all my, my save.
That's some staff the statue's holding. I sense incredible power from it. How do we get it out of their hand? gonna be another All right, guys, this is Editor Yusef. I'm going to say this. I probably said it later on in the the um, video, but not this video, but just in case, because we're getting late on this one. So the issue here was that um, when we went to the, the um, what is it, the meteor place that had the little teleportation doors, the doors weren't appearing unless you walked close to them. <laughs> Right, so the issue was that this area right here was uh, black and white, and it's important. Um, but in all the other places that I went to, you had to get on the little pendulum to swing it and then start time, you know. And so that would be me solving this puzzle. Um, of course, they had no platforms that would allow you to reach from one side to the other. Um, one platform was super high and had a jump off that led you to the beginning of the stage. See, there was one of them that was um, the bottom of that big, huge freaking map, like right before you go to the meteor place. That one had um, that one had one. Uh, one side the other one like in the meteor place had another side all right but there was an extra door on the meteor in the meteor place that took me a while to find so every time i went into one of these other doors the stairs leading up to the spot where the pendulum was would disappear but it didn't really matter because you can see the chains up there once I got up to the top there, then the chains wouldn't have let the pendulum free itself. Like last time I could get on the pendulum because I used one of the rings. So I just thought maybe I had a ring or maybe uh, one of the characters had like a special trick because these uh, some of the characters can use their little innate power. See, that's when I jumped down and put myself in the other spot. Like I was hoping that the stairs would work that time and they didn't. So, um, the thing was that after I beat that, uh, big bad guy where I just said, what the heck is this, and went to the other room and saw the, um, wand, I'll do this later and I'll explain it all over again, but I was supposed to go behind the wand and then look at a mirror and then the mirror was supposed to activate the wand and... Then I was supposed to use the wand to go to the pendulum, and then, uh, yeah, it was very cryptic. You know, I had to look it up, because um, I was dumbfounded. I kept finding entrances to this place, and because the game doesn't allow you to move the map around when you look at it, like, it only gives you a certain view of the map, but it doesn't let you pan through it. So, you get the whole map. You get the whole map. 
But you need to be in a certain area to see a certain amount of it. See, I'll probably click on the map. See, look, I can't move the map anywhere around now. Like, I'm stuck. Right? So, I have to, like, warp jump to other places and then look at the map, which basically caused me to look at the map, like, 8 billion times because I didn't have any clue. So, I started to suspect that there was a different way to get through here. And I started running around like an idiot, just hoping that, that um, at one point a door would reveal itself to me, and it, it actually did, you know. So I was able to look at the map to tell which directions the door, the doors would go. So if I was facing a certain direction here, see nothing popped up there, so I only, I only could go to one, one spot. Do I find a map up or a uh, door over here? But, um, yeah, so... Ooh, I almost got caught. So that put me back in the other place. So I was already done fighting everybody. So I'm thinking maybe there was one more door over there, so... Oh, no, no, no. There wasn't a door. So then, how do I do it? I find the door to the left of me. Right, and I go that way. Now that puts me to the end. Don't, don't, don't. Well, whatever. But yeah, that was the deal. I was supposed to see the wand, then go look at a mirror behind the wand, which would trigger a cutscene, which would have you pick up the wand, and then you could go back through these doors, and then hopefully you find the doors that you're looking for to get you all the way to the other end of the map which you couldn't look at. See, like, it's over on the corner there, on the far right, but I can't look at it from where I'm standing, so that made it a lot more difficult to handle. I had to fight this guy, they, they got me. So, um, yeah, that, that was, that was a cryptic, the cryptic thing, and on top of that, I mean, it's, it's just the end of a, a stage. I don't. I, I might have been able to figure that out myself, but with the added pressure of that being like so much ground that I needed to cover, it became kind of irritating. Fortunately, I did have a walkthrough. Um, I don't know if I would have had patience as a kid or the wherewithal to figure it out. Um, but this game obviously likes to test your patience, so. That's all there is to that, you know. <laughs> this game is like, do you want to solve a puzzle? Like, it's, it's basically like handing you a Rubik's Cube, but stretching all the blocks apart, making you walk all the way over to move a square, you know what I mean? At some point, you're just like, you know what, just, just tell me what the answer is. It's too stupid. Like... I don't know. Uh, they should have gave us a hint on one or two of those. Like, maybe somebody could have said, Oh, I see these. See, look, the, uh, a door just appeared right there. So I was like, doors appear? That was me. Doors appear out of nowhere. Okay, so that means that I missed a door. We go into that door, and then I'm like, okay, I'm right here again. So I'm like, okay, let me, now Now I gotta go scan the area and then like run along the sides to see if the doors work. You know, and um, this is not just this game. I've noticed that with other Star Ocean games. That's why I've never finished one. So I'm glad I finished this one because at least I, it's a personal achievement of mine. I bought a couple of them and it's just, boy. Like, I'm like, why Why would I want to finish this? <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and move ahead in the thing. Um, we'll, we'll save that for the next episode. But that's, that's what the deal was. So I've done everything I could at this point. Now we're just trying to figure out how I leave, how I move the story forward. Alright, I need a save point, man. I'm getting really tired.
Okay, so what am I supposed to do to it? Alright, it says I'm in the right place, but I'm in... I should have gotten that, that, uh... Whatchamacallit. Alright, apparently I was supposed to look at some mirror. There's a snake in the mirror. The giant serpent made of pure energy, but it does not seem to be expressing any animosity towards us. Looks like it just... We could just chomp down on anything, okay? That was it? That was it? How dare you guys? You guys are assholes. Alright, we're back and we have the serpent thing now. Whoa, the staff. All right, we're on it. Let's beat everybody up. Just getting warmed up. Bring up. All right. Now I'm feeling worthy. 